Well, then, my furry little friend, um, I actually have a follow-up. What? what? Another segment in between our two <laughs> main segments? <laughs> Weren't expecting that, were you? Well, it is uh, once again follow-up time. I have a follow-up on last week's discussion entitled, Whatever Freaking Happened? to Brendan Fraser. Yes. For Christ's sake, there was a window of a few years, maybe even a decade, when he was in everything. Yes. He was in everything all of the time forever, and he was just, he was all over the place. You couldn't, you couldn't throw a dead cat without hitting Brendan Fraser in a movie and um, Bella probably won't realize this, but back in the day, uh, dead cat throwing was a big deal. It's in the win- windowsill, Bella. The the remote. I remember I saw it like a like an hour ago. It's in there. Just another remote for the TV. You should get it out. Is what I'm saying. Regardless of whether or not you're watching it on the TV, it's going to be forgotten there because oh, I'm drinking. Fair. Well, apparently. Brendan Fraser is not having the best time right now. No. So, as far as I can tell, this is the story of Brendan Fraser at the moment. He got married. Okay. He had three kids. He bought a huge ass mansion. And he was in a bajillion movies, right? Mm-hmm. Then the parts started drying up. He wasn't making as much money. He sold his mansion and he got a divorce. But in the divorce settlement, as far as I can tell, he is expected to pay divorce child custody payments that are drastically high as if he is still the big star with the mansion. Yes. Like the the wife apparently was used to a specific lifestyle and he still has to pay for that lifestyle. What I have heard is that he is paying upwards of nine hundred thousand dollars annually. Wow. Brendan Fraser doesn't have that kind of goddamn money anymore. No. Not at all. Was the last time you saw Brendan Fraser in anything? So the chances are that Brendan Fraser is living in a crappy one bedroom apartment in ghetto nowhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right now he's got to be at the level of if you go out to Subway, you know, if you if you're driving home, you grab a sub for dinner or lunch or something like that. Uh, any of the napkins that they they give you that you don't use. You save. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 There's a good chance that he is sleeping on somebody's couch. Yes. You know? Yes. By the way, here is the... Jesus, Eleanor. Why are you screeching? You are not a raptor. By the way, this follow-up came to me from a soon-to-be brand-new Brendan Fraser-centric podcast that is so new. This podcast is so new, I'm not allowed to talk about it. You're not allowed to talk about it, okay? I'm not allowed to talk about it. Like, Like, I was talking to a friend at work, and we were in receiving together and i'm like oh my god look at that what nothing it's just we have the mummy funko pops did you see the mummy that is horrible yes oh no i didn't see tom cruise's the mummy i've only watched i'm i'm just a big brendan fraser fan that's so funny i was just talking to my friend bunny on the podcast and we were talking about whatever happened to brendan fraser and then apparently that was a trigger word yeah because she's like, oh, my God, let me tell you the entire story of what happened to Brendan Fraser. I'm going to talk nonstop for five minutes. And I know these things because my best friend is working on a podcast. What's the name of the podcast? It's called Blank. 
oh, well, I'll give Blank a shout-out on my podcast. Yes. And maybe they can give a shout-out to me on their podcast. Okay, I'll text them. And they don't want you to mention it. I'm like, okay, I can, I can give them, like, some buzz ahead of their release. Well, they're not getting released until the end of the month, maybe, and they're not sure when they're coming out, so just don't mention them. So this is me not specifically mentioning the name of this certain-to-be-wonderful Brendan Fraser-centered podcast. And we could still shout them out when they decide to come out of the podcasting closet. Yeah, yeah. But I am but really curious the, about the uh, Super Secret Podcast. Yeah. Yeah, the the name is kind of jokey and cute and Brendan Fraser themed, but I can't mention it. But anyway, when it does come out, I'll be sure and give them a second shout out. Like yes. I'm already giving them a shout out, but whatever. This this may be very smart. This may be very smart of them actually. This this may be, you know, Hillary's book. <clears throat> yeah, or a podcast that was really popular that focused solely on uh what's his name? Uh, Richard Simmons. Yes. Because I think, uh, you know, we're not the only two people in the world that are wondering what the hell happened to Brendan Fraser. Yeah. Because yeah. just, just the idea that I don't know, all I know is there is a super secret podcast about Brendan Coming Fraser. Yep. And I am, right at this moment, I am so fucking intrigued now. Yeah, yeah. So and like I'm it's not allowed working. To mention the name of the podcast. I'm not allowed to mention the name of the podcast. It's supposedly coming out uh, anytime now at the end of this month or the beginning of next month. But yeah, I'm not allowed to mention them. And, and, and I think this has all been has all been an amazing shout out. Yo, it's been a great shout out, and it hasn't been a shout out to a show. That's that we know nothing about. Yeah, yeah. But how interesting, how in interesting the, the fortuitousness Yes. that I happen to work with someone who is best friends with someone who's working on a podcast that will focus solely on what the hell happened to Brendan Fraser. Yeah. That's some sarin fucking dippity right there. Yeah. And That's I serendipity doodah zippity a. And so I really, that. and I really just like Brendan Fraser, um, m much like what cracked cracked dot com wrote about him once. I, I really like Brendan Fraser because he just seems like a really nice guy. Oh, absolutely. You know, absolutely. And and yeah. not too long ago, somewhere in our three years of podcasting, I I had seen him in a movie, and I remember I mentioned it on the podcast, and it was god awful, but I loved it because it was Brendan Fraser. Yeah, this, he this is was incredible. This was where he was he was a he was a land developer who moved to this quaint little town and decided it would be a good place for, a, I don't know, a resort or some shit. Something that he would have to rape the land for, you know? Yeah. And, yeah. and that's what he was doing. It was a big plan. He was getting his bosses in on it. This was going to make a million dollars. And, you know, he was, he was trying to get around every environmental protection thing that he possibly could. I forget the title of this movie, but then the animals started talking to him. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I am aware of the existence of that. It's a fucking horrible movie. Yeah. It's a stupid movie, but I love it in the way that I love the computer who wore tennis shoes. Because that's exactly what it reminds me of. Yeah. It's just like, God, this is shit. Why is it so entertaining? Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. 
So yeah, keep your eyes peeled for a uh, super secret Brendan Fraser podcast. Yes. It's a cute name, but I can't mention it. I can't mention it. I'm not going to mention it. I'm going to keep it professional. Well then, William Bunspear. Uh, By the way, that nickname came from my wife, Natasha. Nice. It's homework time once again on the. Wait Pope a second! What podcast. happened to what happened to Brendan Fraser? <laughs> um, it, that was the end of the Brendan Fraser story. There's a good chance he's sleeping on a couch somewhere, but we don't know for sure. No one knows what's. Going oh, on okay, yet. okay. The last thing that anyone heard from him was, I believe, 2014 or 2015, when he went to the courts and begged for them to lower the amount he has to pay annually to his ex-wife. I'm not sure what the whether he got the amount lowered, but it is a ridiculous amount. He is paying $900,000 yes. annually, and there's no way he can afford that now. It, it, and that's like, that's like one... One thirtieth of a George of the Jungle check, and and I think that backs up the theory that he's just a really really nice guy, and and didn't you, fight over much in the divorce. Oh yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so that's the that's the 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 interest the intriguing thing, which would make for a great podcast is that. We're going to assume that he's sleeping in someone's guest house. Yes. He's sleeping in some uh, friend's boathouse, Rory Gilmore style, but no one knows for sure. He's he's, basically missing right now. He's somebody's Cato Kalin. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So no one knows for sure what happened Mm -hmm. to Brendan Fraser. But don't worry, because I hear that there's going to soon be a podcast which focuses exclusively on this. In fact, I'd love to tell you the name, but I can't. Yeah. I promised. Ooh, secret. 